Yo, it's cool times. Get gang to my cats. Sub Tommy Ducks. Let's talk some explosive new NFT projects we can get in because I feel like we're in a micro bull run right now. Also, if you like and comment on this video, I got whitelist spots to give out for Fear City. And the artist of Fear City is also the former artist of Grand Theft Auto. So like and comment and subscribe to this video to enter that. But let's get in that video today, snipers. Okay, the first project we're going to talk about is Figure God because we only talk about the alpha on this channel. We don't talk about any beta. So Figure God has an all-star team that they're building out a great project with. They have an artist, Jess Wiseman, who's done music VFX for Doja Cat, one of my personal favorites, Jack Harlow, shout out White Boy Summer, Megan Trainer, Lil Baby, uh, done some work for MTV, animations for Billionaires Boys Club. Uh, they got a great team. Wise Call. Winnie is somebody who is, is really tapped in on this space. She's married to Toby Lasso, but she's more importantly somebody who has a lot of influence in this space. Her and Toby are basically the power couple of our pa all power couples. And honestly, I saw her shilling and working with the Dower Darcels team very early on. So she's also a member of the A before the A team. And then also shout out my guy, Ollie. He's been one of the big influencers in the cool cat. I mean, he says he's an inspiring NFT influencer. Face it. You know, dude, you're, you're an NFT influencer at this point. He's got this great new project. So you have some people on the front end here who have a lot of influence and a lot of thoughts on how Web3 projects should be launched. And then you have a lot of builders involved in this project as well. Speaking of building, this is going to be a project for builders by builders. And they're going to build this thing from, from the ground up. Uh, it's got some really cool art and it's got honestly a great trailer here. Super detailed so you can see there is a lot being put into this project. It's not just a one-off PFP project by any means. Honestly, this music for the trailer makes me feel like I'm on Adderall, but it's okay. I'm hyped up. I'm in the zone. I'm in my Beethoven vibe. It's so Here's the skinny on Figure God. This is from their Medium page, which you guys should definitely check out. You can see these cool kind of creatures here. Remind me of like mechanical Digimon. Remember Digimon? I honestly had a lot of stock in Digimon. I thought it was gonna be just as big as Pokemon, but it's okay. Good thing I didn't buy into that project because that shit kind of went to zero. They talk about Jess and how she's been working on this project, honestly, way before NFTs. It's been over a decade. And when you're building a Figure God, you're gonna have four different tiers. So tier one's gonna be the primitive stage. Tier two is the body fundamentals, three is going to be the design matures, and then tier four is when it's going to be fully crafted. So they're actually launching this project in four different stages. I haven't seen a project really do this where they're going to let you build from the ground up as if you were a toy maker or a manufacturer yourself. The design choices will not only demonstrate the evolution of a figure god over four tiers, but will also display the diversity and uniqueness between each render. Whether you want a Q figure god or, you know, something that looks like a wonder pal, something you can just kind of be friends with, or you want something fierce that could kick another NFT's ass, they're going to be able to let you build this thing out. The Discord's going to be closed to start out with. There's no clear-cut way to get an industry list spot. But they say opportunities for these inventory spots may appear in the weeks leading up to Mint. There's going to be you know, challenges and puzzles. They're going to make you engage. It's not going to be Discord grinding. They're talking about Q2, so I would expect this maybe next month or May for at least Tier 1. Won't be a stealth launch. Official announcements are going to be on the Twitter page. And watch out for the Medium page as well because we want to hear more about this project. So shout out to them they're building speaking of a big builder in this space fuck render is an og he's had the fuck crystals he's a guy that i've really looked up to in this space for a long time but he has fuck avatars coming out uh in a couple of weeks and i know what you guys are thinking man public sale march 27th but somebody who has such a huge following like fuck when render i'm not gonna be able to get one of these but honestly i've noticed on these public sales if, if you're super quick it, it could be worth the play of just ramping up the gas I know a bunch of people in my Discord were able to mint MGXS, was, which was a really hyped mint uh, this past week. So public sale March 27th, and the level of detail is amazing. And all these avatars are definitely going to be part of this big fuck render universe that he's been building out. He's one of the best you know, artists we've seen uh, native to the Ethereum blockchain. I'd honestly put him in the same sentence as like Beeple. To be quite honest, Fuck Render is obviously somebody who is, you know, he's got a lot of hype. A lot of people are following him that I know. Um, and he's currently rocking one of the Fuck Avatars. So March 27th, there's no whitelist spots to be given out. If you have a Fuck Crystal, that's your way to redeem. Um, but that public sale could be a huge snipe. 
this is a project that a lot of people aren't going to be talking about because it's not giving out whitelist spots for people to shill it. There's not going to be giveaways, all that stuff. But hey, uh, he's a proven builder and this is a project you definitely should be watching out for. I know you guys are probably watching this video now and you're like, come on, man, we want the alpha. Wait for it before the alpha. So I got it for you. This is a project built by people who used to work at NASA. I think this project has so, so, so much hype and I can't believe I'm the first one to talk about this. Space plus NFT. It's an IRL access pass that will literally take you to space eventually. We're on the radar, not even 3,000 followers yet, but going on the website, you can see it's an NFT collection and metaverse project by Uplift Aerospace. You'll have access to space, both physically and digitally. And the culmination of the final phase of Space Plus will be a historic community sport, uh, supported lunar rover mission to the moon. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have access to space flights, I ISS payloads, events, space launches, the moon, literally the moon. Like, you know when you go outside and you see that huge thing that's like, to be romantic and every girl wants to look at it on the beach and everything, like we could say, yeah, hey, I got an NFT that can literally take us to that shit. NFT Metaverse is the utility behind here to facilitate transactions between Earth and space and provide digital assets. And yeah, this is a docs team. They literally have people who've been to space. They have people who went to, who worked at NASA. So this is a project that is going to be huge probably if they can execute on some of these huge ambitions that they have. If you want to read more about the docs team here, you got Josh, you got Eric, you got Jeffrey, they got some nice smiles and their, you know, headshots here. You got Emily, Heather, and it's, you know, it's not just all marketing here. It's, you know, director of astronaut engagement. Uh, so big, big team here. They got a lab technician. So these are big brain thinkers based in uh, Utah. And uh, yeah, they currently do have collaborations with NASA, Orbital Reef, Blue Origin, all these huge companies, um, they got advisors that are big in the NFT space. So hopefully these people can help bridge the gap here. If you wanna learn more, get early access to the community, you can join the Discord right now. It's pretty opening, uh, pretty open. So make sure to jump on this, I'm bullish. I wanna talk about two projects that currently integrate existing NFTs into their ecosystem. So this is Storyverse XYZ, still under the radar here, but it's ready to bring our PFPs to life and own plots where you can literally build out stories and missions with NFT projects that you currently own. Honestly, the website they have here, Storyverse XYZ is pretty cool. So like, let's just tap here. They got apes talking to the cool cats and the doodles and they got the little cryptodes here and they're all talking with each other. So, I mean, this is just fun type of shit. I love seeing like different projects like integrate um, you know, tons of collaborations and boom, we got another board ape here. So that's, that's a lot of fun. Storyverse is a blockchain project focused on no code game publishing tools for PFP community. So what exactly are you buying? Let's, let's, you know, kind of just get to the chase here. What exactly are you buying? Two primary digital assets in the Storyverse. So you're going to get ink, which is the Storyverse's currency to literally write in your story and drive transactions and interactions. And then you have a plot of land, which you guys know I get, my dick gets really hard when I hear the words plot of land. Digital real estate gets me all excited. Basically, that's your ownership to immutably stamped on a blockchain based ledger, giving the community custody over these scarce assets and control over their collective self expression. So, the people who own a plot of land in the Storyverse can create and publish a story that can be consumed in any browser on the web. So, you think about a project like Jenkins the Ballet, where they're harnessing their own IP rights. Uh, it, it takes a lot to do that. You have to launch your own project, but something with Storyverse, because people always talk about commercial rights. Um, you know, people were talking about like, oh, CryptoPunks don't have uh, commercial IP. Well, how many people have actually used their commercial rights? Not many. I haven't launched a project based around my cool cat. Well, this is a project that lets you actually harness the value of the commercial rights of your NFT in a really cool, unique way. Just like 19 hours ago, they have doing a giveaway for some whitelist like the whitelist isn't even that hype look 41 retweets 56 likes that's pretty good odds for you to you know like retweet tag friends to get on the whitelist and you can get in the discord here so i'm really bullish on storyverse also bullish on arcade this is a project building out a game five metaverse using your avatars just like Storyverse is doing with story and world building. This is more about using your avatars to build out games so these are the people who built out Apes vs. Mutants, which was the official Board Ape Yacht Club game. So these are real deal builders, and now they're building out a new gaming system for people in their own NFTs, and own and customize lands. Uh, you could chat, play, and earn together. 
and yeah they're giving out whitelist spots currently for this there's not a lot of grinding going on with this it's a little bit more um well known than storyverse but you can play a popular play to earn game so uh, again using your current nfts like we're seeing the apes and we're seeing cats and cyber kongs and alien friends um all nfts are invited and the public sales coming soon check out the website here to get the twitter and the discord and yeah, they're gonna bring your NFTs to life. You can hang out and chat, do all that fun shit. Honestly, I just wanna use my cool cat to beat up some other NFTs and uh, using this with the people who made Apes and Mutants, uh, the Board Ape Yacht Club game, seems like a good bet. I probably would wanna mint this if I could get on whitelist. Last but certainly not least, we're talking about some land projects. So I wanted to mention Like Island. Uh, we talked about this in my Only Snipers Discord a little bit. But this is a project that currently has a Genesis uh, collection of 120 hand-generated animated plots from their like island. And again, the best way to just park your ETH right now, the safest way, is to bet on digital real estate. Um, usually these things don't go to zero. Uh, they do seem to have a speculative nature on them that makes the price go up. And their Genesis collection, I know it's only 120 items, but holding at a 3.5 floor price and having 73 ETH volume trade, which means people are actively buying at this price, is really, really bullish. So they do have different types of land. Um, everyone is unique here. Uh, Diplo's patch, which is fun. They got the little like asteroid coming to, to hit us to end the world. Remember 2012? Remember when everyone said the world was gonna end in 2012? Uh, that, that was pretty fucking fun. And there's a bad like John Cusack movie called 2012, but uh, different plots of land and really great design here. Some of them are GIFs, some of them are like simulations, which I like. Up in the Discord, because the Gen 2 is gonna be a much larger collection, and soon they're confirming the number of Alala spots that they'll have available. So I joined the Discord, get an island chat. Uh, make sure you try to grind out for those Gen 2 spots because, again, that digital real estate should get our balls tingling, boys. And that's the video for today. Make sure to like and comment below for those Fear City whitelist spots. Have to be subscribed to the channel. Also, if you want more alpha before the alpha, make sure to get your only snipers pass on open. See, they're flying quick. They're going fast. Make sure to grab that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Just remember to say, gang, gang!